And I'm like, what? Oh, okay, hi, I did. And then they're like, and I'm like, what? G'day mate, how you doing? My name's Dave. And I'm Brad. And this is the Travelling Brothers Cigar Review. We wanted to talk about being a noob in a cigar lounge. Oh, talking about being respectful uh -huh. to people oh. at the lounge. And how not to, what, do's and don'ts. Well, not so much do's, we're really going to talk about don'ts. Just don't be a dickhead. Don't be a dickhead. <laughs> it's, it's in our notes. Don't be a dickhead. So... Let's start with when you for, first <laughs> when you first walk into a lounge, you're going to go into the humidor. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm so going, I'm going in. Some of the things you don't do in a humidor, in like in the walk-in humidor. Don't fart. <laughs> well, that works for you. I tell you what, you have to have the sales staff dead. <laughs> Don't handle all the cigars. There's not good ventilation in there. Point That's one. Not, point no. one. Don't handle all the cigars. Handle only the ones you're really thinking about buying. Okay? I mean, honestly, don't pick up every cigar. They're delicate. Mm. They're they've taken forever to be made. You can't you can't keep picking them up and squeezing them. This is really nice. Um, I'm blown. Well, not up. only that, some of them aren't covered in cellophane. Cellophane. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're picking them up and you're putting your grotty fingers all over something, somebody else is going to smoke and put it in their mouth. They don't like grotty fingers in my mouth. Yeah. So don't handle them unless you're. That's the one you're going to buy. If you if you go through and you handle five cigars and you still haven't bought one yet, take a walk. You're not serious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a fair mm -hmm. thing to say? No. Okay. Okay. I said it anyway. Uh... <laughs> Number two. Don't smell the cigar through the cellophane. That's a sure sign you're a noob. Definitely a boob. You're an idiot if you do that. You're not going to smell the cigar through the cellophane. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, but you also don't want to put the like, cigar up to your nose and go... <gasps> no. <coughs> Wait, I got some smoke in that one. <laughs> oh, that was pepper. <laughs> but if you're seriously thinking about buying that cigar, it's okay to take the cellophane back a little bit and... <sighs> Smell the foot of the cigar. Don't go shoving it up your nose, but have a little scent, like a little smell to see if you like the smell of it. it smells like tobacco. Yeah, it doesn't. A lot of them smell differently. You get haze, you get florals. Mm -hmm. I mean, what did you get when you smelled this one? You went, oh, this smells, what? You said, I think you said chocolate. I just got a bunch of smoke and black pepper. That's why I choked. We'll give Brad a second to recover. His brain doesn't work as well when he's got smoke in his nose. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> All right, what, what else you got down there? What, uh, what, what are the irks of Dave? Mm. That's about all for in the humidor. Don't wander around going and coming in asking for the most expensive cigar that you want. You just Why would you not put don't steal anything? Don't steal anything. That well, seems I, pretty important. I kind of think that's a given. Uh, there are some real dumbasses out there. Yeah, they're not watching. Dumbasses aren't watching our channel. Um, we watch our channel. Dumb, two dumbasses are watching our channel. Mm, keep going. What mm. else you got? Well, I was going into when you're cutting your cigar. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, what, don't cut your finger. Yeah, don't, don't go licking the end of your cigar before you cut it. Mm -hmm. Especially mm -hmm. if it's not your cutter. Oh, that's gross. So if you're, using the, if you're using your own cutter and you don't intend sharing that cutter with anybody else... You can wet the end of the cigar as much as you like. Everybody shares their cutter. Just don't sit there and before you cut it. If you're using the store cutter, which most of them have a cutter there, or you've asked for a cutter, don't go licking the end of the cigar first or sucking it in your mouth or sucking on it first. Mm -hmm. That's a given. What else you got? Well, what else, what else you got? Don't cut too much off, boob. I only did it several times. <laughs> <laughs> but I watched our noob cutting video. I'm mm. like a whole new man when it comes to circumcising. Lachayan. Just the tip. Lachayan. Just the tip. 
We didn't do that tonight. Yeah, no. Okay, so uh, number three, when you're cutting your cigar, use an ashtray. So you saw us cut it. You can't, probably can't see the ashtray, but you saw us cut it over here. It was over the ashtray. Don't go leaving your shit all over the floor. Yeah, don't do that. You dick. Ah, oh, did that go into your bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Don't be a dick. Cut it over the ashtray. Uh, and I think I covered Don't Look Your Cigar. All right, in the lounge. Know the cigar lounge rules. So in cigar lounges, there's normally a set of rules put up on the board, up on the wall. Mm -hmm. The do's and don'ts of the lounge. The governing bodies of the cigar lounge. It's not your space. It's not, it's, it's an owner's space. It's a shop owner's space. Can I ask you a question? What? Why don't you, you ever... just did. I know. <laughs> you don't have any rules here. <laughs> Devil's Den. Oh, I've got rules. I know the number one rule. The number right one rule is what? Don't sit on the bikes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Don't touch the motorcycle. Rest in peace. Nearly. Did you see that photo I sent you the other day? No. From uh, Dragons, uh, uh, Black Dragons uh, video. It said, this is Pete. Pete found out he was allergic to sitting on my motorcycle. And he's dead on the ground. <laughs> All right. I've got a tick now from that. Uh, rule number two in the lounge. Buy something. Oh, yeah. Yo. Uh, okay. So, the cigar lounge, a lot of them, you got to support them. If you're going in to enjoy the space, buy a cigar. Yes. They're going to be a dollar or two more than the ones you get online. But you know what? It's about the experience, about getting to go to the lounge. If you don't want to buy ten boxes from your local lounge, don't. But you know what? If you're going in there... Buy a couple cigars, sit down, enjoy one, take a couple home. Support the local business, please. Yeah, otherwise it's not going to be there next time you go to buy a cigar. No, then you got to sit here with some dickhead and smoke a cigar in his garage. Like I do. <laughs> what else you got? Ah, oh, dear. What is there? What else? Where were we? Uh, say hello to everybody. Yes. Be polite. Don't be a dickhead. What, what? Read that verbatim. Read that note verbatim. All right. Say hello to everybody, even if you don't like them, uh, even if you don't know them, and even if you don't like them. Mm -hmm. Still say hello. It's common courtesy. Don't be a dickhead. Is that what it says? It's what it says. Okay. <laughs> What does the next one say? Read it verbatim. This means he's been messing with my notes. <laughs> I changed every dickhead to Dave. Uh, if, some, if someone obviously doesn't want to be bothered in the lounge, don't bother him. So you get that guy who's sitting down in the corner. He's on his laptop. He's got his noise cancelling earphones in. He's, he's working. He's working. We're watching porn. You might go, hi, how are you going as you walk past? Or, or if you know him well, shake his hand. But don't sit there and try and gauge him in a conversation. Sometimes, believe it or not, people go to the cigar lounge so they can get away from everybody and just enjoy a peaceful cigar and do some work. I hate that in general. Like, I, So I work on the road a lot, so I sometimes have to pull off and, and do whatever and get some work done, office work. So I pop my headphones in, I'm sitting there and I'm doing my thing and then people walk up to you and then they're like, and I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Hi. I did. And then they're like, and I'm like, what? I hate that. Like Charlie Brown. Like, that, that's going to be the intro. <laughs> Why don't you have an it? Like, you should be the intro. I'm not as funny as you. Your face is funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Clean up your own mess, Brad. If you drop ash, bitch. If you drop ash, there's normally like a dust buster or a dustpan and broom. That's like an old fashioned thing, but you know, vacuum it up. If you don't, if you don't see one sitting around, ask one of the staff. Say, I just dropped some ash. Is there something I can clean up with? I'll probably go, it's all right, I've got it, and go and do it for you. But offer. Offer. Like, be like if you're some, at someone's house. Yeah. Yeah. The staff, you know, they're not, they're not your maid servants. Oh, they're, they're there to, yeah, they're there to sell the cigars. Don't take your shoes off. Oh, don't take your shoes off. Yeah, and if you do, don't have holy socks. Don't fart, Brad. 
I have a thing. All right, what do you got? What else you got? He can clear a lounge. <laughs> okay, so uh, clean the up best the place oh, to put fart. Oh, put your rubbish away. Hold on, this is important. If you gotta fart. The lounge is the best spot. You want to know why? Great ventilation. Great ventilation. <laughs> no one will know. It, it's covered in smoke because you light a match, it goes away, right? Uh huh. That's the perfect place. To yeah, no. Out. Just don't do it. Just let it. Don't listen to Bradley's advice. Just let it go. You rubbish. Don't like if you if you if you use one of the the uh, store glasses, um, clean it up afterwards and put it away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't just leave it sitting on the table. If you buy yourself a Coke or you bring in your... Don't leave it on the table. Clean up after yourself. Your mother's not going to come down and clean up after yourself. Okay. Hi, Mom. I'm sorry. Telephone calls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Telephone calls. Telephones are... A, I mean, telephone, we've, we've all got them with us nowadays. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do we do without telephones? Talk you remember, to you, You're not old enough to even remember the time without telephones, are you? Bro, there was a time I didn't have a telephone. When you're two? No, I didn't get one until I was in high school. I remember having to sit on the telephone that was attached to the wall by mm. a cord. Mm -hmm. There was a time you were alive there weren't telephones. No. Okay. Black and white TV though, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember going to the neighbours to watch television because they had a colour television. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, enough of that. Okay. okay. Um... Where were we? Oh, yeah. So you got to make a call. Sometimes you've got to make a call. Most lounges have got a spot that's a little bit away from everybody else. Go there, sit down and talk there. But keep your voice down. Nobody wants to hear the rest of your, what you're doing for the day. And, and if it's going to be a long call... Hello? Take it outside. Hey, Mom. I mean, you know, um, it's um, really... See, I'm, I'm on the phone. Hello? Bradley, ring your mother. Why don't you ring your mother anymore, Bradley? Why does, it, why does she sound like she's on the intercom at Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> the people are there to relax. They don't hey, look get... at this ash. Look at this ash. It's just, it's just a perfect burn, That's a nice isn't it? Big ash. You this got is there. a perfect burn. Don't monopolize the television or the Bluetooth speaker. Like, don't sit there and chain smoke three cigars and watch six hours worth of movies and not let anybody else use anything or. Watching your YouTube videos on the on the TV or what have you that nobody else is interested in. Sure, it's okay to do it if you ask the people around you. Don't be a dickhead. Is that what that does? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's starting to sound like a lot of rules in my house. <laughs> Odd similarities, I'm just saying. Have you disagreed so far? No. Uh, no. Very much, yeah. Very no. Much, very much, very much. No, right. There we go. What else? <laughs> Video games are for the home, not the lounge. That's yours. Yeah, I put that in there. Yeah, I know. You put that in there. I went to our local cigar lounge, and I know Nate. Nate, you're going to agree with this one. He's the manager at our local lounge. Somebody was in there playing their Xbox. I, I, listen, I, listen, I, I, I'm from the millennial gen generation. You know, we like to think of ourselves as the greatest generation ever. Nobody wants to sit and watch you play Call of Duty. Don't, no, don't be a dickhead. Don't, don't do that there. That's like the one place you want to you, you, get out. Talk to people. Say hello. Don't play video games at the lounge. Don't do that. Don't bring your own TV. If you're a manager of a cigar lounge, put that on your rules. All right. What's this? Oh, okay. See, you've put one in there. Don't bury yourself in uh, in your phone. It's meant to be social. Don't be a dickhead. It says don't be a Dave. I know, I know, which is what it's you're saying. Dave. Everywhere I had don't be a dickhead, you've put don't be, don't be a Dave. I was trying to keep it PG. Are you trying to say that I'm a dickhead? I'm trying to keep it PG. PG. We're, we're trying to build something. Is dickhead rude? Yeah, he is rude. <laughs> in Australia, that's not rude. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. Or you could say don't be a cock. But we want to make a cigar called that, so we don't want to ruin its position in place. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> we're not putting cocks in our mouth. That's not going to be our brand. For those that watch all our videos, you'll get the joke. If this is your first video, you've got no idea what we're talking about. But if you want to, watch the old goo goo. A lot of cock in the mouth. <laughs> From this dickhead. No politics.
Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Actually, no politics is a bit of a strange one. In most lounges, no politics is the rule. But when you've got a, a lounge and there's lots of regulars there, everybody sort of gets on okay. Often a little bit of j jibing and ribbing gets up in the way. But just don't get too serious with it. It's not comfortable for anybody when people get serious. And it, hey, in today's environment, I'd rather talk about religion than talk about politics. Because poli talking about politics can get you stabbed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or your city burnt down. Continue. Or your city burnt down. All right, next one is don't talk about religion. Same rule as above. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Again, sometimes you're going to sit quietly and have a conversation with a couple of close friends. That's fine. It, don't let it get over the top. It never works, though. Like, you, you're there to talk about everything. But you know what? I, I'm going to tell you. Talk about whatever the hell you want to at the lounge, but just remember one thing. One m very... Very important thing. If you're an idiot and you can't have a healthy debate with somebody and walk out as friends, don't talk about it. Know yourself. Yeah, that's a good point. I honestly, I, you and I have talked about politics a lot, religion a lot, and in, in the regulars at the lounge, we talk about that all the time. Yeah, nobody pisses anybody off. I got a, I got a brother who's in my in my motorcycle club with me and. Um... And he is completely polar opposite to me on, on political views. And we can sit there over a bourbon, many Stark bourbons. Stark Republican. And <laughs> many bourbons and cigars. And we can argue and we can yell at each other. At the end of the evening, give him a hug. See you later. Goodbye. It's all good. Because we know each other really well. We can have that kind of heated debate. But you can't have that kind of heated debate in a public space. You just no, can't. You don't need to argue there. It's just not... It's you not, need to sit back and smoke and relax. Yes. Right? Yes. All right. Get it, get it, what else it. have we got? Oh, this is for the end of the video, really. But, oh, look at this ash. Look at the, I know you've been ashing yours and tapping yours. That's actually a, a, an etiquette no-no, you know. Brad has been demonstrating an etiquette no-no. <laughs> Don't go tapping your cigar on the edge. These are fragile, delicate things. These are basically thin, dead leaves that have got that are mostly dry. And um, let me just get this open again. Mostly dry. And if you go tapping it, you're going to break up, you'll put hair cracks in the outside wrapper, and it's going to ruin your don't experience. Don't uh, don't go tapping your cigar. You want to you want to leave a little bit of ash on there, right? Uh, now, is that a cigar joke? Leave. You want to leave. <laughs> All right. Uh, when you finish a cigar, don't stub it out in the ashtray. I think you've said that before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why? Because it just tank. It, yeah, it just it, it's going to make it burn more, not less. And it's just going to sit there and smoke away unnecessarily. Um, just let it sit there and let it go out. Even when you're done. Just, let it die with dignity. Yeah, so just, let it, just let it chill. Yeah, and actually, if you're, uh, if you're, if you're sitting there and you're smoking, like, you're, you, we're... we're smoking through these kind of quick at the moment um but just rest it on the side of the ashtray now even if you're not finished and you're right down to the nub rest it on the side of the ashtray when you finish with it push it into the ashtray that'll let whoever's doing the ashtrays know that you're finished with it uh once it's been pushed into the ashtray mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's down the pit of no return <laughs> no cigarettes yeah that, that's a commitment it's not a given. People smoke cigarettes in there. Yeah, don't do that. That's not what it's for. They don't in our lounge, but I've seen in other places. Cigarettes are bad for you. We if you're in a cigar things. lounge, no cigarettes. Cigarettes are full of crap. They're full of chemicals. They stink. Cigars don't. Pretty much. Continue. <laughs> it's their stale. Did I say no cigarettes? <laughs> you smell stale like a cigarette. Keep going. Don't be a beggar, Brad. What does it mean? It means, oh, uh, can I have some of your bourbon? Yeah, actually, I'd, I'd, I'd gladly give you some. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. No problem. Don't be a beggar. Take what you need to the cigar lounge. Mm -hmm. And if you go regularly and people bring bourbon, people um, bring some snacks and stuff like that, and they share with you, you know what? Didn't your mother ever tell you to bring something to somebody's house? That's really what she sounds like. <laughs> Hi, Mom. 
She's so proud of her Bradley. Such a good match. Continue. Well, I want to stick on that one. Don't be a beggar. That, so, like, bring stuff to the lounge. Whenever we go to the, to the lounge, we take a bottle of bourbon with us. It's not just the lounge. If you go to somebody's house and you're going to enjoy the time in the den, the devil's den, which is mildly cool, I have to point out tonight. It's beautiful. New wall. That's what it did it. Cool. new wall. Yeah. Not finished yet, but we're getting there. You built it with your hands? I built it with these two hands. Mm -hmm. And Home Depot. He was away. He didn't want to come and help. No, definitely not. I'm allergic to work. I'm a millennial. <laughs> but you got good tools that you lent me. That was nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So, so, uh, and take your cutter. You know you're going to need one. Take your lighter. You know you're going to need one. Now, okay, every now and then we forget or we go there unexpected and you can use the store ones. You forget a lot, Dave. I do. It's okay. I often use Dwayne's. Yeah, good for Dwayne. If you use somebody else's cutter... Don't bitch about it. Oh, geez, that's blunt. It's like, too bad, bring your own. Am I getting a little bit touchy on that one? I mean, I mean maybe they don't know it's blunt. You think? Enjoy the experience. That's, that's not what that says. It's what it says. That's not what it says. It says enjoy the experience. It says don't be a Dave and enjoy <laughs> the experience. That's what it's about. You go there to relax, have a cigar, have a good chat with people, often people you don't know. This whole social, social disconnection that we're going through at the moment, you want to go there and connect with people. Enjoy yourself. That's the whole point of the experience. The great equalizer is what we hold in our hands. Mm. Age, religion, race, it does not matter. Cigar Lounge is the place where all walks of life can go. And everybody meets on the level. And they do. So go and enjoy the experience. Yep. Don't be a dickhead. Don't be pretentious. Don't go in there no, spouting no, 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 off no. about everything. Just go in there, enjoy a cigar, connect on a, on the level of cigars. Oh, and I gotta put one more in there. You gotta put one more in there? Bathe. Bathe. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> if you stank. But you said it had good ventilation. <laughs> it's because the sweater is tight. If you stink, do not be around people. Shower first. And don't, like, go do yard work for 10 hours and come in there and sit and, like, sweat it out. Like, no. And if you're sick, stay home. That's another one. Yeah, even, even not in this time period. Anytime. Oh, don't know. go in there coughing and spluttering around the place. Yeah, I know. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't take your cigar label off too early. It's not pretentious to leave the cigar label on. The cigar label is there to protect the cigar from all the oils on your finger, on your fingers. And you like the way Southern Drawers does theirs. They give you two labels so that as you get down, you can take one off and you've still got another one to hang on to. I really like that. So do I. <laughs> Noob. Mm, it's a boob. It's not about... It's not about showing off what sort of cigar you have it's actually there for a practical purpose mm. gets in the way I don't have oily fingers you got, you got greasy hands for all the hard work you do all day comment in the comments below if you think you should take the, the, the label off early or late I just say unwrap it throw it in your mouth the other thing too is these things are put on with a gum right mm -hmm. and sometimes that gum gets on the tobacco leaves if you let the the uh, cigar burned down, the heat created here loosens the gum, and you're less likely to tear your cigar as you take the label off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good advice. Mm -hmm. I think that's all from me. That's all from me. Like, subscribe, we'll catch you later. Hit the bell, don't forget. Catch you later.